Hush, you know what time it is? It's time for the Chubby Bartenders Podcast. Sit back, put your earbuds in, put, pour your favorite drink, light up the smoke of your choice, and let's go. Enjoy. It's time for the Chubby Bartenders Podcast. Hey, we're back. We're back. We got we got everybody here. This is this, yes. is this two in a row that we've two, had. Every- two in a row. We've got the entire group. See here. how relaxed I get to be. Oh, I know, man. It's nice, Tyler. Thank you for coming. I mean, Tyler would probably go up there and turn a few knobs if you wanted to. I mean, you know, it's just nice uh, that I don't have to. Yeah, well, I, I don't give a damn who yeah. does it other than yeah, me. I mean, you guys know better than let me touch any of that. Yes, shit, we so. do. Yeah. We do, Chad. We <laughs> we know. Tyler and I, yeah, we just yeah. kind of understand. Yeah, I'm just the- not allowed to touch it. Yeah, yeah. Chad's banned from the technology side. Yeah, yeah there's no. No doubt about it. But we got ourselves a, uh, this is what I would call a friend of the program. Yeah. That we, yeah. uh, you know, kind of a go-to that we haven't had on oh yet that goodness. we've been wanting to. Yes. Mr. George Smalley, welcome, sir. How you Thank doing, you. George? Yeah. Cheers, Cheers, boys. Cheers. Well, Cheers. Thank welcome. you. Thank yeah. you for having me. Appreciate yes. it. Well, you know, I, you're one of the guys we hang out with all the time, uh-huh. kind of. I, I think I've watched every single episode, oh, so uh, I'm, all, awesome. I'm all the way up to date, you know, okay, on, well, on all things chubby, you know, yeah. so yeah, who's I'm your, in good shape. your favorite? You know, uh, I, I was going to say, I don't know if anybody's keeping track of this, but yeah. my high school class in 1990, yeah. uh, pretty high numbers coming out of that class. You know what? I didn't think about Pre- that. Pretty you high guys numbers. are representing Pretty well. high numbers. Yeah. I mean, Bo Kearns is headed to the Hall of Fame. I mean, he's been on here <laughs> five or six times, <laughs> Bo, I think. So, I mean, he's, I mean, he's yeah. number one for yeah. sure. I mean, yeah. by he's far. He's on my but, shit list. You know, but yeah. you've had, oh Blaine, you, you've had, you had Blaine Cooper Blaine, on here. Yeah. You've had Angie Edwards on here. You've had Chris Scott on on here yeah man Bo several times Bo several yeah. times yeah. now me i don't know if there's another class that's competing with I, I i don't think there's anybody close oh okay. steve nicktine was on but we we, we botched the sound yep. uh, sound so yep uh we anybody else from 90 man i don't i don't think so richards steve richards no, no. he's younger and he was okay he, too yeah yeah no he's your age he's 91 91 yeah, yeah. these yeah. guys yeah. Are oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 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 Bo's on my shit list right now what is that right? Well, he didn't answer the phone today. Oh, I called right. him today. Well, I was maybe, go- maybe the man was well, busy. Yeah, I, he's asleep. I he's- was going to get the criteria off of Bo. I thought, well, Bo's got to be involved. Well, in this. maybe he's uh, maybe he's sick. He's always got a project going. I mean, yeah, that he kid, he's, he's not afraid to get into anything. Oh, I nice. mean, he's wore out. He's back to work now. Huh? He's wore out. Oh, probably he's back to work. Okay, okay. Have you talked to him? I ain't talked to him much since he went back to work. Uh, we've we've connected a few times Have recently. You? Yeah. Okay. So, we, we're doing, doing good. He's yeah, doing he's doing good. well. Got to yeah. get that guy yeah. retired here soon, man. Well, I think he is. Isn't he? Yeah. A couple, two or three more years. What are you saying? Yeah. Isn't that what it is, George? Well, I mean, you know, I think he just turned fifty a couple weeks ago. I turned fifty in the fall. And so once you get to that mark, I mean, we're getting close. Then yeah. it's kind of day to day. We're getting close. You can start seeing it. Yeah. You start seeing yeah. it a little bit. Huh. So that, that's kind of why we brought you in here, man. What, what, so you, you grew up Jackson, and, you know, we've talked about this. You've left, and you, and I guess you left for how many years did you leave Jackson? Those construction projects. Think Geiger Brothers of Jackson. All your construction and engineering needs. Scott Massey, friend of the program. Look him up. 740-286-0800. On for 20 years. Came back in 2011. But now, now, when you when you left, George, you left to go to college. Yeah, right? yeah. And so, yeah, play baseball. Yeah, went to went to undergrad, Ohio Northern University, yeah. and of course, I would come back, you know, to see mom and dad. And I yeah. came back in the summers. Uh, Alan Stockmeister put me through college. You, you know, I, I worked in the in the summer for Alan, and yeah. and was really thankful for that opportunity yeah, that yeah. he gave me to uh, earn some money and help pay for school. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I wasn't living here full time, and, yeah. uh, and then after that. Um, Went to Ohio University to coach some baseball over mm-hmm. there for three years and and get a master's degree. So I lived in Athens and um, where'd you live at over there? Well, I lived in a few different apartments that did time. You? Yeah, uh, I but spent some time there. Yeah, you didn't party any, did you? No, no, yeah. I was pretty pretty straight over there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, me too. yeah, I didn't never made my way to Court Street. <laughs> I didn't either. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't uh, know was well, there. there was a church yeah. down there on the yeah. end. I used to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I think there still might be multiple pictures of me hanging in a cat's eye. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have, yeah. When's the last time you went to you and took a good Saturday day and just hit the bars? Well, uh, not like I used to, for sure, but I was telling Chad, my wife just yeah. got a job over there, so, oh, you know, sure we're over there for that, and yeah. uh, uh, and 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 over there for kind of the job I work into in college sports, you know, so, uh, uh, so over there from time to time for that, um, 
And, uh, you know, I, I did the Ohio University Sports Administration program, so I've been pretty heavily involved in that through the years as well. Okay. Uh, served on their alumni advisory board oh, and whatnot. Cool. So yeah. we, we make it over to Athens quite a bit. We lived there for five years from 2005 to 2010. I was oh, okay. a, I was a vice president for People's Bank. Right. And okay. and my oh, yeah, and my uh, my uh, my desk when I was at my desk was in Athens. I was a market president. Did some, st- uh, did some uh, things. I was on co- on court right there to okay. yeah, That's right corner. uptown. Yeah. And uh, so we made a ton of friends over there during that time period. Know a lot of people over there. So we met, we go back to Athens quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I used to. I don't you, you know, man, I'll tell you. I've been I've been saying this for a long time. I think it would be fun to like get that group that we like sometimes would go on those Jeep rides mm-hmm. and, and stuff. Get a group like that. Mm-hmm. O- older dudes, nobody it's crazy. Mm-hmm. And go over there on an afternoon and do a little bar crawl. Yeah, a little Check shuffle. See little what court, we could do. Little court, yeah, little court street, street shuffle. shuffle. Yeah. Like come back, you know, at uh, at age 50 and just give it a rip. Yeah. Oh, it could be fun. Yeah, we'd probably need to get a hotel room. Yeah, oh, no and, doubt about know, it. No yeah. doubt about it. Hotel. Yeah. And then yeah. maybe maybe only pick out about four or five stops. Well, they got that new, uh, new uh, Promos. Uh, or, uh, yeah, Procos there on the Procos corner. Procos on yeah. the corner. I'd like to stay there. Yeah, I yeah, have. Be nice. Have you I seen have, that new hotel? I, I have. Yeah, I haven't been in that. But I the, that family owns a lot of rentals and different yeah. properties and stuff yeah. over there. So I know they built that. Yeah, that that'd hotel. Be fun. Well, 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 that. well, and now yeah. you've got like the the Jackie O's Brewery yeah. and Little Fish, which yeah. I mean, to me, I mean, I I enjoy now that. To me, yeah. Oh yeah, this that's is nice. the time of year for that. Yeah, absolutely. I can't do that in the. Uh, I can't do that in the summer. I just there's too yeah. much going on. Well, I mean, you know, I could do it on a Saturday or Sunday in the summer, but I mean, I I think it's probably you're better. baseball. Yeah, I mean, it's better to mm-hmm. to to do it in the winter. I think when it's, there's, no, you know, I don't have anything to do right now. There's yeah. a big difference between when the students are on campus yes, and when is. they're off. Yes, uh, you know, when the students are on, sometimes you got to kind of pry your way in places and yeah. uh, or fight your way out. And <laughs> fight, yeah, or yeah. fight and, your and, way and, out. And those and, are the uh, places that you don't. Get. You know, <laughs> at, at 50 years old, I'm not sure I want any part of that <laughs> not anymore. So in that. yeah, we'll keep. Well, last time I was over there, I, I, I kind of swore I wasn't going back. I know yeah. I would go with all you guys, but I mean, we, yeah. we kind of did I'd that. I'd have to do it. I would have to do it like in the off season. Yeah, in the off season said, when yeah. a lot of the places are pretty empty, it's pretty. Yeah. It's pretty we neat. We went to Court Hang Street out. on a Thursday night during in like April, and bad idea. Just no. bad. Yeah, they don't want us there. No, no, no. You you stick out like a sore thumb. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They don't want us. Yeah, you nah. don't, you don't want. You're it. right. They, they, but there's yeah. a few places over there where it really doesn't matter. But, not on uh, Court Street. Well, no, not no, not the, not those bars. But like I'm talking about Jackie O's and mm-hmm. stuff like yeah. that. I mean, so maybe I maybe a Court Street shuffle. I, maybe I'm too late on that. I mean, that we might could be, do one of them brewery deals. There's enough over there. You got, oh yeah, you know, but yeah. you got a, you got a long way between like you know the plains and yeah, but you can you can work that out. Did you ever go to the mine over at Nelsonville? Oh, the feeding. Yeah, yep, the feeding. Uh, yep, yes. yep. I did go over there. I thought uh, you could trip over. Were you were you yeah. ever in there for the feeding? Oh yeah. You know, that is the damnedest thing I've they ever do seen. The rats. The, it was a rabbit. That rabbit they threw in the yeah. And beers were 25 cents till that till snake ate it. Ate, yeah. Yeah. You know, there's one of those Brilliant. bars that's adjacent. What's the uh, what's the theater called over there? Nelsonville. Oh, Stewart, Stewart's, uh, Stewart's Opera, Opera House. Opera House. Yeah, that's so, awesome. uh, there's a few there kind of around the corner from the Opera House. And the story is that kind of back in the day when that was really the thing. Yeah. There was a string that went from backstage of the opera house to one of those bars with a bell on it. And uh-huh. they'd pull that string and ring the bell before the show was going to. Yeah. Get started back so that all the people knew to <laughs> time get, to go, time yeah. to go. You know, get get back to the thing because it's That's time for awesome. the second half. Yeah. Did you ever go above calls? I didn't know. I know we were at that sale, and you, I think you yeah. said you maybe went up there, I but I never made. I never yeah. went up there. I, I should have. And, and you know, like bringing that up, and then we we're kind of going this way anyway because you know we was going to talk a little bit about your upbringing, you know, yeah. you yeah. know stuff. But I've been finding, and I've been Steve Lloyd. God love you, Steve. Thank you for those pictures. Yeah. yeah. Steve Lloyd sent me a um, he sent me a, a a bunch of pictures of Broadway and I'm sure he's got a ton of just Jackson and Joe. Oh yeah. It just isn't it amazing though that like like the like Stewart's Opera House and downtown Nelsonville downtown next Nelsonville downtown Jackson kind of same similar yeah. similar style buildings. Now they're, now they're kind of reclaiming it just like we did the Marquee and yeah. stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. But, but yeah. the reason I brought up like calls, you know. They didn't have no speakers. You, you know, yeah. what I'm, you know, what I'm saying they had to build rooms and build things like you know. Can you imagine a bell trying to motivate two hundred people? 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? They didn't know any different, though. Yeah, so, I, you know, yeah. that's what yeah, it was. Were they whispering? Were they? I mean, you know. Yeah. How, how can a bell on a string? Yeah. Well, maybe you know, maybe it just alerted the bartender. Yeah, the bartender yeah. said, "Hey, get time out! To go. Time to go." Yeah. 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 Well, and I you mean, know. you know, uh, if the act was good enough, you'd be you'd be cued into that be- to and that do, bell, and, dude. And do I you mean, think anybody back in even wore a watch? Well, I mean, now I mean, we all got well, we all got the time in our pocket. Yeah, yeah, I think people were watching. Yeah, I, mean, I, I wear a watch do, now. Yeah, I think. You know, I, think I, I wear, wear one yeah. now, but I'm saying in the 1800s, did they wear a watch? I mean, well, yeah, or had a pocket, or a pocket watch. Or watch yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think yeah. there was always value in um, what time it is. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't yeah. think it, I don't yeah. think that predates any history. No. Yeah. You know, Sundials. Just, yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so you. So, hey, have you ever heard of AP Prep? Look them up at APPrep.info. If you want to earn the day and be your best you, they got boxing classes. They got individual classes for your kids. So look those guys up at APPrep.info in Chillicothe, Ohio. You'll be glad you did. So you were no you, and then now, now you're back, and you're still in college athletics. Uh, kids are raised, basically. Yeah, there's been so much happening in the last year. We were kind of talking about it you know, before the show. Uh, turned 50 and uh my jill and i became empty nesters you know yeah, our wow. only daughter jenna went off to college so mm-hmm. she and i are sitting home by herself now no, you're jeeping, you're jeeping and with jeeping it. every now and then yeah. and riding a motorcycle uh-huh. and doing yeah. some fun things and uh we celebrated our 20th wedding anniversary That's so awesome. i mean just all yeah. kind of cool stuff happened to us in the last six Ma- months, amazing how it's quick a- it all comes on to this <laughs> yeah oh yeah I, mean, mean, I don't feel 50 but no, that's what I the calendar says i, I, I can't I, I can't believe it what's I that know. empty nesting like I mean, uh, I, I mean, are you and your wife trying to get to yeah. know each other again? Or, or I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I'd be lying if I said it's it, it's a di- it's different. You know, yeah, it, sure. it's it's different for yeah. sure. And uh, uh, you know, a lot of our lives for all of us, you know, to have kids are are kind yeah. of centered around what the kids do. Oh yeah, man. And oh, uh, I, I hear you guys talking about it, going yeah. to games and going hunting yeah. and doing yeah. different things, riding horse, all that. Yeah. And it's not that that stuff completely ends sure but it certainly changes you know yeah. when, they're, when they're gone and so uh but uh we're having a lot of fun so did, far and, did, and, and doing stuff so. like a uh uh not you know we got time <laughs> so it's yeah. a podcast so did that send you into like I'm, my biggest fear this is my biggest fear of getting older and you guys are 10 years yeah. older than me yeah. yeah but my biggest fear is like every every you know change 50 emptiness whatever you want to call it i mean that's just coincidence it was you you know for that i'll be the same thing my son uh it may be my son i had him when he was when i was 32 so yeah i'll be 50 yeah you didn't get into that next stage of life like uh shit here it comes like like that's that's the biggest one i'm feeling dude I, i'll tell you man for me I, I, well we're losing a lot I of mean, our friends are losing parents and a yeah, lot of, i mean you, yeah. you just went through losing oh, your yeah. mother-in-law yeah, and i mean yeah. it's like the the stages we've all kind of i mean we've, oh, we're I moving you, up the you, ranks you, boys you start seeing it and you look around and you think man you know hey we're you know we're getting up there time's getting short you know but i can't say that myself really feel uh any different no i mean well, your par- just, our parents don't either no, I they mean, never, I, I you know. mean, I, I saw a T-shirt the other day that I really liked. It's like, hey man, uh, like something about like what I look like. A, uh, I don't, I, I don't act like uh, most teenagers. I'm, I'm 49. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, so, so, I mean yeah. yeah. In my mind, I mean, I'm 22 years old. Yeah, right, right. It, it, But, but being an empty nester, did it, did it uh, send you to the next level of, um, ooh. It's coming. Milestones. Man. Yeah. 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 No question. It uh, did. Oh, yeah. No good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe, maybe more than, uh, certainly more than anything in recent history in, in my life. Uh-huh. Did you have a midlife? But, did you ever have a midlife? Yeah. I think, I think yeah. I did. Yeah. 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 I, uh, and, and maybe, I mean, without being too overdramatic, maybe it's been kind of the biggest thing ever. Well, I yeah, mean, I mean, I mean, I'd say it is. I mean, I, I, you know, I'd be, uh, I'd be yeah. not really telling you the truth if I didn't say it was sure. a pretty major feeling. Oh, no, I, remember, pretty I was ma- with, pretty major deal. We you know? were kind of, I mean, I was with you some during yeah. that whole process. And I mean, I can remember, uh, you know, just that's, I remember all my buddies, you yeah, know, going I, I, yeah, I've I mean, talked to, like, I've talked to several people that have done it. Everybody says that yeah. big yeah. impact. I mean, Matt yeah. Mahoney, yeah. Uh, Bo I know he said that. Uh, well, and I mean, we got a little taste of it. Helena went to college sure, two yeah. years ago yeah. and like our house that had three kids and it all of a sudden had two. And it, I mean, but you still had the two there, so it wasn't empty nest at all. But it's kind of, man, that's a weird feeling when you drop them off, dude. How yeah. Do you, how, do you, how do you keep it from being sad? 
Well, well it you is don't. Sad. Yeah, sad. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, it's yeah, sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, for our for our it's account, sad. I mean, we didn't. Yeah, it was yeah. it was sad. Yeah. Uh, but what, I, but you know, what I'm saying, how yeah. do you keep it from like? Okay, so sooner or later, you know, you and your wife had to, uh, you know, you guys had to say, you know what? All right, yep, they're gone. What are we gonna do? Yeah, and you had you had to make it happy, and it wasn't like because I mean I'm sure like that empty nest thing. Well, now I'm, now listen, I'll say this. I mean, I think I think as parents, I mean, sure, it's sad when you drop your kid off at college or do something like that. But as you come back and 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 you're hanging out with the two of you, you got to look at each other, kind of fist bump it out, and say, "Hey, man, yeah, it's cool. Did, we did did pretty good there. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's you know, cool. you want your kids cool. to go out and and be on the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really really cool to watch them fly. Yeah, I mean, and uh, yeah. you know that's yeah. that's that's pretty neat stuff, and uh, and there's ups and downs. You know, you get calls when they're down, you get calls when they're up. Yeah, uh-huh. and yeah. Uh, you know, you try to help them out, and yeah. but not get so involved that you solve the problem for them because yeah. we feel like that's part of the learning process is let sure them stumble and yeah, yeah, figure yeah, it out yeah, and all yeah, that yeah. kind of stuff. Plus, we're three and a half hours away, so. Yeah. We can only solve so much. Yeah, right, I mean, we're, right, you, know, right. you got to figure it out. Well, I don't know how your house is or or your yeah. house. Uh, my house sometimes. My wife and I, you know, I've always said this. Daddy spends the even a daughter. You know, uh, daddy spends their entire uh, you know fatherhood trying to raise a, a boy, trying to keep a raise a boy and to be a good man. The mom spends their entire motherhood keeping him mama's boy oh yeah and i'm yeah. sure a daughter it's the same thing you spend your entire you know fatherhood keeping her daddy's girl yeah. mama is saying nope you're a woman now you know it's just what you got to do do you still like do you and jill do you guys ever like see yourself even though you're empty nesters and now you're both doing it from three and a half hours away you're still kind of maybe i don't want to say going at each other parenting but one side's working one way and the other side's working the yeah, other. i mean I, I mean i think i i've found with most things with us uh you know we are uh, we're on the same page, but right. I think where where I fall short, Jill picks me up, and yeah. where she falls short, maybe yeah, I fill I in the blanks. Yeah. I agree, and and, that's, uh, that's, yeah, and uh, so that's that's kind of how how we roll. We all three chicked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean that's that's you know I'll tell all you if I times. if I could say anything, I'd just say balance, dude. Yeah. yeah, you know, like there's a lot of stuff I'm terrible at, and it happens to be my wife's really good at that. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. and. Uh, much more on on that example than the other yeah. <laughs> way around but uh i mean are you getting in yeah. a are you getting a routine now with it i mean so you're you're now almost a year in well yeah we're, we're a semester in you know it, she uh she left in august so we're uh you know we're five four or five months in and uh but yeah we, we have routine you know we have uh a couple of days during the week that she calls us and uh you know kind of brings us up to speed with what's going on you know she decided to rush and that's the newest news oh. decided to rush uh, uh the greek system and uh, just got a uh, bid to uh, be in a sorority so she's pretty fired up about that mm-hmm. and yeah, uh, so we're excited for her and kind of yeah. watching all the different moves that are yeah. involved yeah. with that <laughs> yeah. process yeah. yeah that's awesome uh, so that's pretty neat but uh but yeah a couple times a week we have a call family call and uh and jill and i both work so during the day we're off to work and then on the weekends we try to mm-hmm. go have some fun so mm-hmm. it's good it's good yeah, yeah it's good <laughs> it's good now is is your daughter thriving does she does she like it she does yeah. really like it you know she's going to bowling green and um uh you know she kind of liked it from the very first time she walked on That's campus awesome. you know it was uh i feel like it was in the top two or three from mm-hmm. the from the jump very beginning right yeah yeah right from the jump and um so that ended up being the one, and uh, there's a few other kids from Jackson that are up there, yeah. and uh, they've kind of taken her under their wing. We really appreciate that. And uh, uh, but yeah, she's had a really great experience as parents. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not uh, not trying to uh, make an advertisement for Bowling Green by right. any means, but I mean, they've done a really really nice job. You know, when yeah. we when we look at uh, you know the information they provide and the process and kind of what. We believe the care that they're providing sure. for our child. We're mm-hmm. super pleased with it. So well, that's uh, great, man. Yeah. So so far, knock on wood, it's uh, yeah. it's been well, it's been really good. That for makes all a big difference when you can feel good about where she is and yeah, you know, what she was surrounded with and that kind of thing. You yeah, know? no has, question. Has Elena been gone a year yet? Two years, year and a half. Yeah, she's in the middle of her second year. Pretty middle of her, yeah, she's a year older than Smalley. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Bam. Yeah. Yep. That's what's flying by as an outsider. So your guys' as kids. Oh, I mean, yeah. oh, I, know. I mean, my oh, kid is too. Oh, but it's like, oh, man, it just doesn't seem. I mean, he'll bow. I mean, he'll be a grandpa here. Yeah, you know. I he, mean, 
he started a little bit earlier. So, you know, when I talk to him about these kind of stories and all that, you know, uh-huh. he can, he always can relate. He said, I've just already done it. And he's got and good now. advice. He's got yeah, good solid no, advice. No doubt. Yeah. yeah. Bo's got, I, yeah. I go to Bo a lot sometimes. You yeah. Know, whenever I need something, whenever I yeah. like Bo, you know. Well, I've, I've always enjoyed listening to him talk about that. How Me he too. And Susan I, I, are, are Bo's empty good nesters dad. now. Yeah, absolutely. Bo did a good job. Well, yeah. You know, he, yeah. his boys are great. Um, you know, I admire Bo's, you know, father relationship yep. so, the munn family with your local mcdonald's of jackson wellston oak hill and MacArthur. need i say more than pull in get the app open and pull in spot number five and let's go for number six yeah. so so speaking of that uh george i mean i think we like to all say that we're all pretty good fathers and mm-hmm. you know try to do the right things you were brought up here in jackson uh yeah. on a farm yeah. i assume was that a working farm at the time like were you you probably yeah, did a lot we, of work. You we did a lot of work. Yeah, so, I mean, you did a lot of work on that farm. Yeah, if I'm not yeah, mistaken. we worked. Uh, what, yeah. So, what was the day to day routine in the uh, small house? Why aren't you farming now? Yeah, yeah. And, That's and, my and, one. Why aren't you farming now, Spolly? Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, you know, the day to day routine and was it a working farm? I, I always, I think mom and dad uh, would say this too. That was probably more of a hobby farm. I mean, uh, okay. they always had other, other jobs, and probably right. the one that uh, most people uh, would know of is. Uh, you know, for years they owned Engraving Plus oh my, just yeah. across the street here on Broadway. And how long did they have it? You know, I was 12 years old uh, when they opened that. Um, I think that was uh, what the early 80s. I think eight, maybe 83. I think mm-hmm. maybe was when uh, 1983 is when they. And man, I don't know if I can name the year that uh, that they closed it up, but they were in there for 25 years, I think. And wow. You know, my grandparents uh, were in there for 25 or 30 years before that. That's uh, right. You know, M&E Jewelry was the uh-huh. name of that. That and, was your uh, grandparents? That was my grandparents oh, on my mom's that. side. Yeah. I didn't uh, know that. What did uh, M&E stand for? Um, it stood for McGee, which was the uh, married name of my grandfather's oldest sister, and E stood for Evans, which was my grandfather's, uh, Jim Evans, okay. Jim and Ruby Evans. Mm-hmm. And so M and E was uh, McGee and Evans uh, jewelry, mm-hmm. and it was there till 1977. So there was about a five or six year period where, uh, oh, for the most part, the building that was empty. Yeah. And uh, and mom and dad made the decision to fire it back up, and uh, yeah. that's kind of what was it? How, that's kind of where we were, you know, how M- we were raised. When did M and E start? Oh man, oh man, I don't know if I can name the year or not, but they were in there if you rolled back almost 30 years prior to 77 so call it 47 or 50 you know yeah yeah Yeah. uh and so that's that's how my you know that's what my mom was raised in was that you know 209 broadway street right across the street that's where whenever you were so that's a (laughs) three-story building it's a three-story we had we had two and uh you know uh at one point they remodeled and made it a you know when they first started, that second floor was just a, a empty kind of store, unfinished storage. Okay. And uh, then they remodeled and put a staircase in and opened up that second floor and all that kind of well, stuff. What did you do up? I mean, did you ever anybody ever do apartments or anything up there? You know, we didn't own the third floor, so I'm not sure what was uh, on the third floor. But the second floor was just a second floor you of didn't the business. Own it. Didn't own the third floor. Third floor was owned by somebody else. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. Huh. Huh. Yep. I'm sure they used to do that yep. up here. Oh, well, yep. of course, yeah. So uh Feel like a condo. Yeah. So yeah, that's when I was twelve and um you know, but uh and, and so the farm life changed when when that happened. Okay. Because we just didn't have as much time mm-hmm. uh to mess with cows and cut wood and put up fence and all that mm-hmm. kind of stuff. We mm-hmm. still did it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they're just uh you, there's no way that they could have spent the time they spent on Broadway Street Street running mm-hmm. engraving plus. Yeah. Uh, and still do, do all the stuff that they were doing out on 776. So uh, dad had to kind of dial it back a little bit whenever he made the commitment to uh, to do right. the store. Right. Uh, but there was always plenty to do, you know. I mean, uh, he grew up on a dairy farm, uh, the same farm where my brother Christopher lives now. Okay. Uh, out on Weber Road. And uh, so they always had you know, 50 or 60 or 70, you know, cows to milk, to milk his entire life. and. <sighs> So I think he just wanted us to uh, kind of feel some of that, you know, that, what yeah. that's like. Mm-hmm. And, um, and <laughs> Do you so, think it was punishment? Or you, I mean, no, 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 no. I, I, you know, I mean. The, well, a lot of the, lessons learned from that. Man, oh, man. I mean, the, yeah. the, uh, you know, the toughness, uh-huh. 
physical toughness and mental toughness right uh that we learned work ethic uh you know um you know, a lot of kids, uh, I used to love it. I'd come in town. I'd we'd go find this guy a lot mm-hmm. of times. I'd yep. come in and stay with Steve Walburn on Cross Street. Oh, yeah. Yep. And we'd get on our bicycles and run around and gather up all the kids in the neighborhood and play ball. And Oh, yeah. It was I mean, it's like it's just like watching a movie, The Sandlot. That's it, what that, we did. That was real, man. That's yeah. what we did. I know. <laughs> and I'm awesome. like, this is the best day of my life. I mean, this yeah, is I remember you telling me you'd be like, Pudge, it was either go out and, and you know, clean <laughs> shit, clean horse yeah. shit or, or whatever. Well, or bale hay or, or yeah. Or, or you were, you told me you were like you know how excited I used to get to go in town and play ball oh, yeah you know I mean you said I was just chomping it I mean <laughs> yeah it's true yeah I'm yeah. sure it was yeah it's totally it's totally true so I I don't uh, you know I, I have um, I appreciate the way that I was brought up you know mm-hmm. I appreciate my mom and dad for for making it kind of tough mm-hmm. uh, I my. Uh, we didn't raise Jenna that way. She didn't have it nearly as tough as <laughs> yeah. I did. I yeah. mean, she had easy street compared yeah. to what I did. Yeah. And I'm not saying one way is right or one way is wrong. I'm just saying that, uh, uh, and thank God they let me play sports and yeah. uh, and go to practice and do those things. I mean, thank goodness. Uh, but when I wasn't doing that, uh, I was working. Yeah. 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 I, I was working. Uh, I can remember I've told Bo this a couple times. You know, we've known each other since second grade. We are in the same second grade class at Kennison. He'd call me on Saturday morning, like eight o'clock, and say, "Hey, uh, we're in here on uh, Wood Avenue and putting a team together. We're going to play some football in the lot around noon. You know, want you?" I'm like, "Man, I'd love to, but I'm can't working. I'm like, can't. Wasn't even a question. I mean, I knew yeah. I couldn't go. Yeah, I knew I couldn't go. Why did you go to Kennison, living out where you lived? Well, because they both worked in town, and so you know, if I was at, if I went to Scioto School, I would have been home at two o'clock in the afternoon, and mom and dad wouldn't have been home till six. Right. And I was five years old, and they just went to the. So you went all the way through school in town, all the way through. Yeah. Well, Kennison. now yeah. honestly, that yeah. that had to have been a blessing for your lifestyle, though, because you saw the in town kids. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they weren't playing pickup ball out there in Sider Township. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't know what they did at Sider School. Sure. You know, I, I didn't go there. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, well, that was yeah. a godsend for you. But uh, but yeah, I, you know, I enjoyed uh, uh, going to school where I where I went uh-huh. uh, there at Kennison. And uh, uh, but you yeah, that, that's feeding. but that's why. Mm-hmm. Uh, I brought these uh, Olympics there that yeah, kind of yeah, show, yeah, kind oh, of, yeah. kind of showcases that. Well, we're going to do that yeah. on the live. I can't wait to do that on the after show. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do that on the live. I, I, I mean, I, I'm anxious to see some of the names on there. I, I, mean. I brought some archives that uh, yeah. every now and then, you know, our parents dig out these old oh, newspaper I love articles. It. I love it. Mom yeah. fired one my way a couple of weeks ago, you know, yeah. from 1979. That's so awesome. I'm like, I'm taking that bad boy in. Well, I mean, to see the Olympics are coming up. So, yeah, you know, yeah, they're, they're, super they're, fitting. Yeah, 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 fitting. yeah, there it is. <laughs> when, do, when do you start pitching that stuff? Like, I, I, well, I, I, for my mom, I don't I, think I ever did. I, I don't know. Well, I mean, okay, so you're going to get all that stuff one of these days. Yeah. My, m- mom and dad have been purging quite a bit. You know, they'll say, hey, we, we got a box. You need to come get it. Uh, we, we want have it out of here. Come get it. And then uh, we'll go get it, uh, depending on whether it belongs to me or one of yeah, my yeah, one, yeah, one yeah. of my two brothers. And uh, you go through it, and there's things that like this. Yeah, I'm not going to pitch this anytime soon. No, yeah. no, no. I'll put this somewhere. Yeah. But there's other stuff that it doesn't make it. You know, I'm like, yeah. hey, that, you know, that I, stuff's I, I'm, out. I'm really intrigued now. Like, I know you can like send in like a box of this stuff, and they'll digitize all of it. Okay. And put yeah. it on, and I, I think that would be. Yeah, an excellent investment because, yeah. like, if you think about it, mm-hmm. like the way you talk about different ways that we're raised, and I mean, all of us were raised in a different fashion than what I'm raising my kids. Oh, at yeah. least you know, like, but like, act like the stuff we archive, like it's all electronic. It seems like, I mean, <laughs> you know, you just I wonder: mean, are, are we ever going to go to the the cabinet over in the corner at, at Christmas time and break out a jump drive? I don't know. Dude. Instead of a photo album. I don't know. Man. Like you know what I mean? Like it's it's kind of scary, dude. Because, yeah, like are we uh, going to label this jump drive? I mean, what are yeah. you seeing over there, IT guy? No, you won't. Instead, you'll pull up your cloud service, like yeah, no. Google Photos or something, and show people that way. Yeah, you can filter yeah. by date or facial recognition will identify who's in the yeah. picture. Uh, gee whiz. See, yeah. man. I mean, it's going to be easy. Yeah. It yeah. is. It's going to get yeah. easy. Yeah. You know, yeah. like think about it. When was when was the last time you bought a paper, man? We get the paper. See, I, I don't, man. Like, now, if one of the kids is in it or there's something like that, mm-hmm. we'll, go, we'll go buy it. But then we never know what to do with it. Okay, but, like, I mean, ask yourself. Do, do 
why do you need the paper picture as opposed to your iPhone's picture? I don't know, man. I mean, it's you, you kind of like to see the write up, I guess, or, uh, or do something. Do you? Because you know what yeah. happened. Well, I know, but it's kind of cool to be like, yeah, yeah man, I, see, I was, that, I was in the paper right yeah. there. My kid was in the paper, mm-hmm. you know. I don't know, and maybe that's just small town living, man. But you, it, know, you know, it I mean, I, like, and I'm not saying I'm I'm, yeah. I'm just asking, like, what yeah. is the difference between that news source versus right. uh, this is all papers sure. versus a Facebook post? Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, it's, I, it's in, gen- independent party. It's generational and it's mm-hmm. uh, it's personal preference. You know, I mean, even yeah. if you talk about books, you know, you can you can do digital books, but oh, a lot sure. of people are like, you know, hey, I want to feel that book yeah, in my hands, and yeah. I want to flip the pages and. Yeah. So I think it's just personal preference and certainly uh, certainly generational differences oh, yeah. for yeah. sure. So there probably will be a point when it moves more toward everything yeah. in the cloud because yeah. those of us that want the paper in our hand or it will be gone. Yeah. Right, right, <laughs> yeah. right, right. Well, well yeah. you can see yeah. less and less of them now anyway, man. I'm sure. Like so. I'm I mean, sure. It, uh, uh, you know, I'm, that's just, I've I've wondered that several times. Like, what are we going to do with like yeah. all – now, Google – I've got the Google Photos. I've got mm-hmm. that app. You yeah. have that? Gillum Insurance, we've got lots of things happening at Gillum Insurance. We have moved to 228 Broadway. Right now, guys, with COVID and the pandemic going on, don't be the one caught without life insurance. So give us a call, 740-395-0357. On your Gmail? I don't know. Mm-hmm. It'll, it'll save all your photos. So whenever mm-hmm. you take it with your phone, it just automatically uploads mm-hmm. it to Google Photos. Mm-hmm. So the problem with that is there's about 10,000 photos that I don't need in there. Yep, you have to clean those up. <laughs> I got to clean those up. You know, I mean, yeah. just every yeah, little yeah. thing that oh, you, yeah. I mean, every meme that you've screenshot and sent oh, is in yeah. that son of a bitch. You yeah, know, yeah. And it's yeah. like God. I'm gonna have to have a whole folder just of oh, memes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's all over the place. So tell us about this wine thing. Yeah, so uh, I don't know. A year or so ago, uh, Jill joined us uh, a wine club, and it got to, maybe got a little bit out of control. And that every time we were going to the mailbox, there was another box of oh, wine nice. out there, yeah, and yeah, so. Yeah. We were uh, we we didn't we weren't keeping up with it very well, and uh, it, it by no means is that uh, that's not the most expensive bottle of wine you ever put your hands on. That's not uh, yeah. that's not Camus or Silver Oak or anything like that. But no, uh, right. I see a lot of people, you know, bringing uh, bringing you cigars yeah, or bringing yes. bringing you beer. Yeah, so I'm like, God. well, maybe they'd like a little red well, of wine. Course, of course you know, we little, absolutely. We haven't uh, drank any wine since the Skinners were in. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I was, I was well, say, there's two people brought us wine. Yeah, They're both out of the class yeah. of class 90. of 1990. Yeah. A bunch yeah. of highfalutin yeah. yeah. sons of bitches. Yeah, well, I uh, <laughs> I'm sure what Angie brought you was a uh, was a uh, uh, well, hers was from Napa Valley. Yeah, she brought you a better brand than that. So I hope. Do you know this Stephen Miller? Is that what that yeah. No, that's pretty good. Again, it's uh again, it's kinda it's it's wine club wine. Have but, you guys uh, enjoyed that it's wine good. club? Yeah. I mean, has it has yeah. it allowed you to try a lot of different ones that you probably wouldn't have otherwise tried? It I does, mean? and I think uh Jill could tell you the story better, but I think the whole idea of it is that uh they connected directly with the vineyard, so you're kind of getting to wine directly okay. from the source instead of uh, having yeah. it go through a wholesale or anything yeah, like yeah. that was the idea and uh cool so jim uh, reapenoff tried to talk me into one of those that red and blue game there a couple of years ago he's like you need to get in that wine club i, I don't I, i've heard yeah. good things about him it's just i don't know if i could keep up with it i mean yeah, how, how, how you get two bottles a month or how how does it work man i felt like it was more than two a it month. did it really okay yeah. <laughs> one a week yeah yeah, it felt, yeah, yeah one or not, two a week yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so yeah, but closer to we, eight or ten yeah, yeah yeah we just weren't pacing that way you yeah know? right, so, right. What do you yeah. mean? so you just weren't drinking them not that fast so no. how many bottles of wine you just got laid at your house Oh uh, well, we sh- she she shut it down. <laughs> oh, she shut it down. But yeah, there was that many. Probably got nice yeah. nice cellar yeah, there. there yeah, there was there was. Yeah. You got forty or fifty. Bottles. There there were that many. Now it's probably down to a dozen or something yeah. like that. But but we, yeah, we shut it down. We shut it off. Have to join it again. Was out, it was outpacing yeah. us. Yeah 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 yeah. Are you sitting around a lot at night? You know, kicking back with a glass of wine. Yeah, no, no, certainly not every night, but you know, on the weekend the or weekend. something like that. You know, and uh, you're kind of a. I mean, you're, and, you've always been just kind of a beer guy too, really. Yeah. you have. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure I know you'll drink wine, but I'd say yeah. if your go-to is probably a cold beer. Yeah, right? no, that's true. Yeah, yeah that's true. But uh, yeah, glass of wine, you know, in the winter time or whatnot is uh, be, is kind of yeah. nice. Yeah, it'd be so, nice. Yeah, I, 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 we're we're just not we're not in the phase right now. Like wine, I kind of like for it to be kind of quiet, you know. Yeah, fire. I mean, we our kids are running around. Yeah, but hey, that fits empty nester pretty well though. 
That's what I mean. You that's know? perfect. Hey, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, don't you have a just... pool? You have a pool, don't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, you're you're laying out by the pool. Well, not right now. It's but a yeah, chilly. yeah. But in summertime, yeah. You, yeah. I mean, you're yeah. Just, yeah. I mean, I'm kind of exci- not. I'm not excited about being an empty nester. But I mean, this is kind of. I'm thinking <laughs> to myself, hey, I, hey, I have been so lazy. Hey, I'm not afraid of it. Dude. Here in the last yeah, two I'm months, I'm not afraid of it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know what I've done? Nothing. Yeah. Since I, I since I finished just building, I ain't done shit. I have sat on my ass yeah. and played PlayStation with my son or Xbox. That's it. I ain't done nothing. And I like it. Yeah, well, hey, that's good. Do you, you ever do it. that? Uh, I mean, what are you doing right now for fun? You know, so so I think that this is probably connects back to this farm talk okay, that we just okay. came. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't sit around much. I can't. Okay. I just can't sit there. Not, uh, you know, always, that's kind of the way you can't. were raised. Uh, yeah, so I just have to. Uh, you know, maybe I maybe I don't want to be out there on the hay wagon anymore, bailing hay. Yeah. But man, if I don't have projects to knock out, uh, I'm not very it's fun not to be around. Okay. You know, yeah. I need stuff to do, and uh, and a lot of times the stuff to do uh, is work. You know, I mean, I'm working in the yard, or mm-hmm. I'm landscaping, or I'm yeah. fixing up the house, or I'm uh, all kinds You're of. You're not stuff, sitting you around know? watching but TV. Not, not sitting around watching TV. No. Uh, I haven't played a video game since, you know, we had yeah. uh, Atari back in 1984. Yeah. Uh, so I just, you know, I, I need to be uh, doing stuff. And, uh, I'm yeah. worried that I'm going to stay here. That's my, you know, because I'm usually like you. I mean, yeah, I was going to say, you normally are perpetual motion, dude. And uh, this is the first time this yeah. winter. This I don't know if it's just where I'm getting older, man. See, this I've been the guy that I've always been into just leisure <laughs> you have yeah yeah, yeah. you've always yeah, been like that, that that does not uh, bother me in the least to not <laughs> have anything to do no. No. <laughs> it bothers me i'm worried that i'm stuck yeah i'm sitting there thinking well okay what could i do i could listen to a podcast read a book drink a beer sounds like a full day yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe i'll grill a steak later tonight. Yeah. Yeah. and you're a one thing at a time where i'd be doing one of those things while i was like uh, bush hogging or nah. cutting a tree or, nah, you know? with me dude there'll never be any bush hogging or anything like that <laughs> ever <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, I wouldn't th- even know I where to begin I'm i'd cut my arms and legs off i'd cut them off i'm <laughs> drifting that way i don't i don't yeah. feel like i need to do that much longer. well i mean i feel like i'm like maybe a quarter of a man I mean, like no. mo- most men, like you know, they do shit like that. Well, my, like I don't even know how. Like if you put a chainsaw in my hands, I'd be afraid to start it because I'd be afraid I'd cut my arm off or something like that. And you know, I you just, know, what my dad told me. Did your dad ever tell you this? My dad told me this last week. He told, he basically called me and my buddies. And he he didn't mean anybody in particular, but he basically just calls pussies. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, hey, hey. He right, said, right here, he goes, you guys, right, right here. Because I was, yes, I was yes. telling him like, you know, I yeah. was beat up yeah. and I was sore or something. Yeah. He was like, "Hell, I played in the Jackson High School alumni tournament till I was forty six, forty seven. That's amazing." And I was like, "You did? I remember this now." I was like, "Hell, I, you know, hey. does Chip ever get on you and be like, because I mean, you're still fairly active. You're as active as I am. I mean, you're doing whatever you want to do, right? I mean, are you exercising? You were lifting, mm-hmm. yeah." Yeah, we we uh we were we joined uh, the route down there in Galpolis mm-hmm. for a year, and uh, uh, so that worked out pretty well. We we're, we're not going down there now because Jill's kind of going the other direction over to Athens, so coming up with a new uh, workout plan. But uh, but yeah, I mean we we work out, but um, I, I I don't know. I think based on kind of what you just said about uh, are we as tough as the generation before us? Mm-hmm. I, hadn't that always kind of been a theme? Oh though? yeah, I, mean, it is, uh, it is. I don't think yeah, we but, are. But, but, well, yeah, but so think of society, though, right? I mean, I think, uh, you know, it's uh, you, you don't have to you, you go to the grocery store and get whatever you want to eat. You don't have to go yeah. chase it down and kill it. You yeah, know, I mean, abundance. There yeah, is like it's, it's just yeah, uh, it's easy. It's a di- it's easy. Right. I yeah. mean, everything is uh, uh, you don't have to walk to town because everybody's got four cars. You know, I mean, right. it's just like it's right. a different. Uh, Absolutely. It's not what it's not the difficulties well, and, that and the mean, previous mm. generations had to deal with. Even, even well, I mean, it's crazy. So, if you look at it now, I'd say, and I mean, I don't know this. This is completely coming out of my ass. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying people make more money now. Oh, I agree. Like, people used to have to really save money and do that. I mean, which, you know, you should do that now, too. But, like, things are at your fingertips now. Well, th- think of our I parents. mean, how I mean, many, you know. How many aunts and uncles you got? Not very many because they're both <laughs> from small families. I see. Okay, I got, they're small. Uh, Shit, your dad's got, like, four or five brothers, don't th- Two. Two brothers, two. and my mom's got one sister. How about you? 
uh, I have, uh, I have, uh, my mom has one sister, and uh, my dad has uh, two sisters and a brother. So okay, well, I've got, I guess I got the only so, baby boomers here. Cause yeah, so I've got m- mom and dad both had like you know five and six. Yeah, okay, so you got time. Well, but most yeah. most of your families back, mm-hmm. our parents are all about the same age. Oh yeah, yeah. But most, I mean, you know, typically mom stayed home. Yep. Back then. Yeah. You yeah. Know, you had one car that dad took back and yeah. forth to work or or oh, yeah. mom would take him somewhere to where he could meet another carload of guys sure. and they would yeah. drive together. Right. Just it's just different times. It you, is. You it talked is. about, I mean, you know, just, I mean, can you imagine right now? To you, either, all of us, all yeah. three of us. Tyler yeah. doesn't have kids, but yeah. but all three of us. Imagine you told your sons uh-huh. or daughter today, uh-huh. no, you're not going to go play ball. We've got hay to put up. Don't uh, happen. I, I I I don't think it happens. Uh, very yeah. not very much. If yeah. it does, I mean, at it all. might. Uh, show me somebody yeah, playing I, ball, and I'll I show you somebody know. playing ball. They don't. Yeah, probably. Th- those kids aren't doing that anymore. Where that was pretty common. I'm well, not, and you think, man, when you were growing up, mm-hmm. okay, how 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 often did your families go out to eat? Never. I I didn't rarely. Eat, I mean, yeah, I, mean, I didn't eat it to colonial till I was like uh, the only time I ate it to colonial back yeah. whenever we were kids. Was my uh, sophomore year? Alan uh, paid for the football yep, I team. That. Yep. that was the only time I ever ate to Colonial. Yeah. Well, we used to go up there some. Like when Dad was coaching the coaching staff, went up there on Thursday nights, and that was the biggest treat I ever had in my life. Because, mm-hmm. like, I'm not saying I did. Listen, I didn't have a hard time. I'm not saying that. I mean, but what yeah. what, I, what I am saying is it just that wasn't the way. That, How many times that people has uh, Abram and Millie been to Archnetties? Oh Jesus! I mean, you know, they it's the same thing now. all the time. You, I mean, we yeah. go, we we eat out as much as we eat in, man. And I mean, yeah. that's probably not good, but I mean, that's just the way it seems to yeah. work yeah. out when everybody has. How many practices times did you and have, stuff. Well, you you were you had business down here, so you probably did go up there and eat. And... No, we really didn't. Uh, we 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 didn't eat out much. Yeah, we yeah. didn't either. Well, see, I, mean, I, I don't. Uh, I don't know. think anybody did. We man. didn't eat out. I much. mean, you big know, deal we, to get a Pizza Hut pizza. Big yeah. deal. Yeah, big yeah, deal. Like if you yeah. ordered pizza once a week, network video and Pizza Hut mm-hmm. pizza used to be like a oh, treat. God. Oh yeah. Well, Pizza Hut's where we went. I oh, mean, yeah, after yeah. games and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, that's where that's oh, where we absolutely. go hang out. There's a jukebox yeah. in yeah. there. Yeah, that was awesome. A couple video games and whatnot. That's where we went after ball games. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we would go. Yeah. To, it's just different times. Man. Well, it's, it is. That's I mean, I, that's just one thing. Like that's what I'm thinking. Like you, you think how many home cooked meals are you eating now, or are your kids eating compared to what you did? Yeah, you know. Now, my, Mindy, still we don't eat loud a lot now. No, we well, eat way I'm, more than I ever. Well, did. that's yeah. what that's what I'm saying. I mean, yeah. look, it's not like we eat out every night, but mm-hmm. like you, you guys know, do that I mean, a lot. But you have to almost. Well, because everybody's practicing at a different time, mm-hmm. and everybody, it's just hard to sure to skin the cat. Well, okay. yeah. I mean, you know, you go to practice or yeah. something, and then yeah. you get home at six or se- or seven. Yeah. yeah, you know, the last thing you want to do is start, start into a daggone right, right. dinner that you now see fix. like on a weekend that doesn't bother me at all, and it's not five below zero i mean i don't You'll mind fire firing up, up the grill yeah yeah or something like that that's great but like man in that but in the summer you know less but man I tell you it's kind of tough now are you guys at the same uh, here's where i'm at right now there's nothing that i really love any last night donovan and kevin yeah. got together and invited me out they were cooking out some grills or some deer steaks and oh, I, yeah. I decided to go Okay, I'm glad I went. I loved every second of it. However, it yeah. was like pulling teeth to get me. I just like being home. Oh, but yeah. I mean, it's like, man, I'm I'm good right here. You know, I don't yeah, I don't yeah. want to go anywhere. Like, I love I'll, I'll tell you what, man. I like what I really like is like a happy hour. Like I know we did that for a while. A few times we'd meet up there. Yeah. The yeah. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Go out and do that, and then go eat with the family or go and that's cold. yeah that's perfect for me man yeah i mean i, I like that it. and then i might go home and have a, a glass of bourbon and a cigar mm-hmm. or something listen to some music but wind it down but no that, i like the uh, i like the yeah. jeep rides that but, was those are but as else, far though. as like going out i'm like oh man i just want to be home. i don't yeah. like being by myself uh, J- well J- I, I don't either you know yeah, yeah. uh jill had a a uh a work uh commitment a couple weekends ago on a saturday and i didn't Oftentimes I do, but I didn't. Yeah. And she left about eight in the morning and she was kind of joking after she said, how long did you stay there at the house after I left today? I said about 10 minutes. I was good. <laughs> I just, yeah. And, uh, so I went running around, went out to mom and dad's and did different things, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't like being there. I don't like being by myself. So I go yeah. find people to hang out with where yeah. if you weren't empty nesters, you 
you would have probably maybe had your daughter or, or may, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Uh, oftentimes, especially if or she got older, on. she had stuff going on, well, yeah, too. So yeah, yeah. if Jill had stuff and Jenna had stuff, I mean, I'm finding you guys. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. Right, I'm not right, sitting there by myself. Right, yeah. right. No way. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And that's right. usually no how way. those Jeep rides would commence. Yeah, oftentimes. Yeah. Know, hey, what yeah. are you guys doing in Sunday? Yeah. I ain't hey, got nothing go. going on. Yeah, 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 that. And, I mean, like I said, I always enjoy, like, just meeting a couple of guys at uh, yeah, I don't care. Wherever, yeah, La Rosa's or whatever, three, four beers out or something. You know, it's just good to catch up with people. Mm-hmm. It so certainly I, does my mental health a hell of a lot of good. I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> you yeah. talked about this this empty nest thing. Is that yeah. it's a little bit of a challenge to find people who are in the same phase of life, right? No. Because oh, yeah, if yeah. I, it, you know if, if I'm in it. But you're going to, you know, 80 baseball games a summer or whatever the crazy stuff you guys did. Yeah, yeah. Then I'm calling you and you're like, hey, man, I'd love to, but I'm, I I'm in I'm right. in Cleveland. Or yeah, I'm, right, you know, yeah, right, right, right. And Travis was in your boat. Yeah. You, so, hooked, you linked up with Travis. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because of this. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, sometimes that's a little bit challenging is you have a lot of friends, but they're, you know, the kids aren't that's the a same great age. Point, and that's so a great like, point. I mean, you know, they're, they're not at the same spot. Yeah. You like know? when you're when you're at the phase that, that I know that, that I'm in right now with two that are like tweens, you know, they're, they're getting, starting to get busy with sports and they're starting to get busy with everything. I mean, dude, it just feels like you're in a whirlwind. I mean, we do it to ourselves, but like it just, you know, and it sucks because a lot of times, like you feel like you're kind of neglecting your friends, you know? Or like you're, mm-hmm. it, like you hate to be the guy that's always like, oh, well, man, I, you, I'll be out of town. You yeah. guys play a lot of ball, man. I yeah, mean, we you got, you've talked about it on this show quite oh, a yeah. bit, yeah. and I know it's, uh, I know it's kind of the uh, the modern day culture, the modern day youth culture. Uh, is, I'm yeah. not sure I agree with it, but it it is not nonetheless. Sure I do a, we've we've talked this, about uh, it a lot. you know these travel leagues that these young kids are out there playing, yeah. whatever sixty or seventy or eighty games and. Yeah. Uh, uh, and so if you're in that, uh, you're not doing much else besides that. No, and, no, uh, you know, no. my, he, I, he's out, uh, you're out of commission from <clears throat> May until about July. Yeah. First of July. We're, we're normally down to the first, well, first it, of you July. you got three weeks and then, boom, then football and then football, yep. 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 which yep. I mean, to me, I, I get more upset with how early football starts than what I do baseball. I mean, mm-hmm. baseball, we're, we're just like April from the team we're on. We only play about half that. We play about 40 games, which, I mean, still, I mean, that's a lot of weekends. I mean, yeah. that's a lot of weekends where you could be home or do that. But You're playing four games a weekend. Probably, yeah. I mean, I, three I think to four. Three to four, yep. It's. I think there's multiple things in play with that. You know, you, you have uh, – you have a little bit of uh, of maybe burnout that happens at times with Good. the kids. You have, uh, you know, I, I, I'm not sure that they have the same chance. We were talking about three sport athletes and that kind of stuff before the show. And how can you really participate in multiple sports if one sport is drawing right. you so much in one direction? Right. Uh, you well, know, I mean, it, I, I'm already to the point. Like my son, football in Jackson, if you're going to play peewee football, you, you have just – obligated yourself to a 16 week season um, you were 18 weren't you? well yeah because we went to the playoffs but yeah i mean you're you're 16 from from the get-go now i mean that's the same it's almost five months that's the same as a varsity season guy mm. longer i just hope yeah. that that's uh, my thing and i've said this to other people is i hope that that's what those kids want to be doing that's exactly right. If the kid, if that's not what the kid wants to be doing, and they're there more because dad wants them to be there or mom wants them to be there, whatever, that's where I start to have it. I never had that. You know, I talk no. about the way I grew up and whatnot, mm-hmm. and I was a kid who uh, my mom and dad weren't signing me up for anything. I was tugging on their pant leg saying, please, yeah, yeah. can I right. please right. sign up for this? Uh, I acted like a jerk in fifth grade one time and got in trouble there at Kennison School. Mm-hmm. And uh, they said, that's it. You're not, that's a great point. You're not playing ball. And I said, mm-hmm. oh, my God, do not. do not. You can, don't I'll do, do anything. Yeah, yeah, I'll do anything, but don't take that away from me. Right. I mean, holy smokes. Well, I wonder how many kids <laughs> are, okay, are pulling on a pant leg are saying, sa- are saying, sign me versus up. Versus how many of them are saying, I, here's what we're doing. I would say very few I, is I'd my say, answer I'd, to that. Yeah. Very, very I'd say, few. I'd say two days. And I also never had this, and I hear this too much. Mm-hmm. There was never a practice I had ever that I was like, God dang, 
I don't want to go to practice. I hate practice. Well, but you didn't have five it, of them a week. I, true. I didn't have as many. But the other part with me, and I've said this before, is it was harder at home than it was at practice. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, I've heard it was that harder that. at home than it was. I'm like, well, I either go to practice or or bail hay. I'd or rather go to go to practice. I mean, I, I mean, I, you know, I'll tell you, I've said it on here many times. My here's here's my philosophy, and one of my major ph- philosophical shifts since I was younger, uh, and and the way I was brought up is, you know, what's what's the old thing you always hear? If you start something, you're going to finish it. Yeah. If you start, you're going to finish it. Well, to me, that's out the window. I don't give a shit about that. Because when my my son's ten, he can finish his six so, weeks. So, so hey, when he comes home, if the, if the, it hasn't happened yet, but from any of these sports, and it's like, oh. I mean, if there's a day that I got to fight him to go to practice, we're done. See you next year. Yeah, and I mean that might not be right. We just did that. But like, school. but but like to me, how's it wrong? I mean, you know, uh, nothing they're doing when they're 9 and 10 is going to make any difference, in my opinion, as far as development. I mean, you know, yeah, they might be a little better than everybody else for a while, but, like, I don't think that it's going to have any long-term impact. Yeah, I, I, I mean, dude, I never had a football pad on until I was in the seventh grade. Well, you, you know, it, it goes yeah, back. To I what, mean, it goes back to what you said a couple uh-huh. weeks ago. You know, there's nine billion people in China that don't give a they shit. They don't give a shit. You know, yeah. Yeah. I, you know, and I'm yeah. sure you agree with this. You know, and I think I think this is probably where your farm upbringing kind of comes in mentally. Is there's just I mean, it's just not that big a deal. Like, right. you know, you don't have to go play 40. I mean, if your kid wants to go play 40 baseball games, I'm going to play 40 baseball games. Well, I mean, I will tell you guys this. If you want your kid to be worth a shit in baseball, you better be on one of those teams. Because no, 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 no. that's the way it is now. No, no, no. I mean, wh- whether you like it or not, that is baseball now. But I mean, sure. here, no, no, I mean, you're, you're overlooking. If yeah. your kid's worth a shit, he's mm-hmm. worth a shit. Yeah. You, but, you know, I mean, like, like your kid, like, you know, and we're going to get into this with this uh, JHS goat. Yeah, yeah. Very few <laughs> are, I mean, are using it for anything. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's not like I'm sending him out there thinking he's going to get the major league. I mean, any parent. Oh, no, I know that. See, yeah. here's the problem. Mm-hmm. People get pissed off at parents that have their kids in travel league. And I'm going to tell you that it's not oh. all bad, boys. Oh, no, no, no. I no, mean, no, there's, no, no. there's some really good lessons being learned down there. Mm-hmm. There's really good baseball being played. Mm-hmm. And they're surrounded by some really good people. And yeah, and I didn't mean to imply that. I no, mean, no, no, no. I don't, my brother Christopher is very yeah, involved yeah, in yeah, it. We're and you guys are made on saying, yeah, yeah. and uh, you know, I've watched quite a few of the game. You know, I, to me, the uh, you know, they those those little kids are learning the game the oh, right yeah, way. Yeah. I mean, oh, they're they learning the game the right way. There's maybe a little play. bit, a little bit more pressure <laughs> than what I'd like to see, but you know. But what I'm <laughs> saying is, if you're plugging your kid into that, thinking that that's going to get them, I think a lot of people put their kids. Well, I mean, there. that's that's on the parent. If that's that, yeah, the case. and I I'm mean, here. I'm here to tell you, you can put your kid down there all you want to. Yeah, that is not a layup to get oh, to the no, next level. No. Like that's not a guaranteed entry. No. You know, if your kids were the shit. I you think that there's unreal expectations or unreal, uh, not uh, what uh, unreal uh, realization. I think or unreal realization of how good the players are who go on. Oh uh, my, yes, a, a completely yes. unreal uh, realization. Well, I mean, you got you got people paying AP prep thousand dollars a year. Oh, easy. Because they think their kids going to get D one scholarship. Easy. How many of them do? Easy. I mean, you know, yeah. it's. It's the same thing in all this stuff. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Same thing yeah. in the music business. Yeah. Well, uh, it's the same thing in uh, basketball. Uh, yeah. What's the yeah. what's the basketball that they do? Uh, what's that called? There's a whole a- like, AAU. AAU. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean. You know, I, I've, I, uh, I've had the uh, opportunity to work in it. I've coached in it. Uh, you know, we were talking earlier where, uh, you know, the college summer leagues, you know, the, yeah. the league that the Southern Ohio Copperheads are in out of, you know, Athens. Uh, you know, I ran that program for five seasons and have seen, I mean, you know, the, the kids that are, are playing, I mean, they're, they're elite athletes. Oh. I mean, uh, elite, that very, very few, that, well, that I, very I, yeah. few that we see, mm-hmm. uh, are, uh, you know, are, are at that, at that level. And I, mm-hmm. I don't know how many, uh, I don't know, uh, parents have the opportunity to see, 
uh, college athletics up close, you yeah, know, like I have, you I know, know, on the yeah. sidelines and yeah. all that. Man, they're they're they're, they're strong. I yeah, mean, they're I, good. I, yeah. I, sometimes man. I hear <laughs> some great comments. athletes. Yeah, I hear some comments sometimes from it, like some football parents. I'm just like, man, nah. dude. I mean, you, you you don't understand. I mean, the gods gifted this kid. <laughs> I mean, get, you know, yeah. not everybody can do that. Oh yeah. Man. yeah. I, I mean, it's you know. I think the other thing they don't understand, Chad, and we've had this conversation, <laughs> yeah. and uh, and you know this because you did it. Mm-hmm. I did it. I think a lot of people don't understand the level of talent at the Division Three oh, level. Oh my God, it's high. Yeah, it is. It's high. Yeah. Okay, and, so uh, both both of you went and played. Uh, mm. Capital D three, three, yes, yeah, same uh, conference, same conference. Yeah. Like, what where'd you, where'd you? Ohio go? Northern yeah. University. Okay, so same conference. Okay, mm. this is a, this is a great question that probably yeah. nobody's ever asked you. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's say that you were a kid right now. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're a ten year old. Okay, mm-hmm. or a twelve year old, whatever, and you were playing. You were the parents, or, mm-hmm. or you're. Or let's just say you're the parents. You're just like mm-hmm. you guys mm-hmm. right now. You're the parents of that ten or twelve year old. Mm-hmm. And let's say that the that right that doing this and, and it probably will, like mm-hmm. you guys would probably admit this. You guys did it more than mm-hmm. I did. Let's say you went and did all those travel ball games and that mm-hmm. pretty well got you into that D three level. Because mm-hmm. I I'm sure it probably could. You're mm-hmm. it'll it'll get you to the talent level to where you're gonna get good enough to get mm-hmm. maybe into the D three level, ma- right? Ma- maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe. Okay, yeah. but maybe. Okay. So mm-hmm. you guys both played in a D three level. Mm-hmm. Is that worth? Okay, I'm just I'm asking as a dad. Is that worth all the weekends, all the all the time? If your if if your kid comes to you and says, "Hey, Dad, I'm I, here's where I'm going to go. I'm going to go do this D3 program. They didn't give me any athletic money, but they made up for it over here. So in a roundabout way, you still got your scholarships." I think if you can get a college education out of the deal, you're doing pretty good. But yeah, you can't. I, I still I mean, think it comes back to do you love it? Uh-huh. Because yeah. man, if if you don't love it, I don't think you can play D three, dude. Yeah, I mean that's that's you know. kind of the Division three uh, yeah. philosophy is yeah. it's more for the love of the game because there isn't any money. Yeah, yeah. There's no athletic scholarships at mm-hmm. Division three, mm-hmm. and so it is for the love of the game. Yeah. And uh, and yeah, they're they're pretty. Um, uh, you know, they're pretty open to trying to provide opportunities for kids who want to play. Mm-hmm. So you might be on the freshman yeah. team or you might be on the JV team or yeah. whatnot. But if like, you're on the varsity team and if you're starting, yeah, you're, you're a player. Yeah. Well, I mean, you I mean, can, it's, you can it's play. What I noticed, like at Capitol every year for football, I mm-hmm. mean, dude, honestly, probably if you said you wanted to play football, they'd be like, hey, Come on, that yeah. They, they give you a shirt and a uniform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they give and, you. Yeah, and, and then, and then in the first, in the first, tw- yeah, first ten days, you know, thirty, forty guys quit. Really? I mean, oh yeah. I mean, it's they're over the wall. I mean, it's <laughs> yeah. I mean, guys lasting half a day, dude. Yeah. Like it's. Well, oh, why it, wouldn't you? Well, I mean, I think they had no idea what they had signed up for well, and I, then, I, you know i didn't love the game and then, I, i'm yeah. not gonna go do that well for, it'll test it because you're sure? you, you, you yeah. want to be out there for three hours a night doing that shit. i loved f- I mean, football at jackson yeah i didn't love football no, i just no. i got to my senior year and i just i didn't want it to stop to end yet yeah you know i still had an appetite to mm-hmm. to play something mm-hmm. and uh you know you asked the question a couple minutes ago is it worth it and i think the definition of worth is specific to each individual person probably Great it was answer. it was worth it to me yeah it gave me a springboard for the rest of my life to this day mm. everything that's happened since then yeah. i can connect it all the way back to playing baseball at ohio northern i wouldn't trade it for anything let, let me ask you this too george like you know i know you you went on had a coaching career afterwards mm. one thing that i've always said when when i'm talking about guys playing division three football it's like hey man if if you're going to make a career out of being like a, a football coach, e- even at, at the high school level or, or whatever, I would recommend that you play that. No question. That college football. Oh, absolutely. Because yeah. you learn so much oh. about the game. I don't care, <laughs> you know, what level one, two, or three, they're doing the same thing. Yep. I mean, you, you learn the complexity of the game and you learn to look at it from a different level, you know, like. <laughs> You know, you're you're now like I was an offensive lineman, so all of a sudden I'm practicing offensive line for three hours a night. I mean, at Jackson we'd go offense, defense. T- hey, no, no, you're going to be a guard 
for three hours every night. <laughs> every night. And then when you're done with that, you're going to come in here and watch film. About being a guard. So that we can go ahead and rip your ass on the blocks that you missed on a Wednesday night. Yeah. You know, yeah. No, you I learn mean, the game in depth. Oh my, oh, for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. No question. Yeah, and you you learn how to read all kind of different. I mean, you know, yeah. It's so like what I would I, what I've always said. Wiley and I talk about this a lot because mm-hmm. both of us played there and didn't have a particularly great experience. Our team wasn't very good. Mm-hmm. We were good early on, and you know, in all both of our friendship us. years, I've we've yeah we never talk about. I don't talk about it much, man. No. I, I wound up getting bad injuries in mm-hmm. college, but I mean, I. I hung around it, and uh, well, there again, there's some the, some real good friends from my college days. I mean, were guys that were on that team. And, Homer, uh, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 we all played, and uh, like I said, was it tremendously rewarding? No, but would I trade it? I don't know. Well, man. no, you sh- sure you wouldn't trade it because yeah. you can't go back and do it again. No, no. Okay, you're you're done. You know, right. we're done. Yeah, right. But right. but what I'm saying, you know, like d- I was ready to put it behind me. I, I love your answer mm-hmm. on it. it's it's kind of individually i think you know when it's time to put it oh, on man, I was, because uh, man i i I, did, yeah. I hit that point oh. after i i had i had gotten hurt rehabbed mm-hmm. worked my way back into the starting lineup gotten hurt rehabbed and then it was just kind of like you know what man there's a lot of other stuff doing on a college campus for three hours a night. Now, when I was yeah. 22 years old and a senior, I was ready to be done. Yeah, yeah, like that's what. Like, <laughs> hey, the day I knew, I, I knew, and like it was like, all right, man. I didn't yeah. want to play another See, inning. That that I, mean, feel, I was done. That I'm feeling like, hey, you had, yeah. I had, I've had enough. Week ten of my well, senior and, and, year. And let me tell you something right now, guys. The three of us right mm-hmm. there with what we're saying. We are blessed that that's the case because how many people do you see that still got one hit left? Oh, in I'm, good. I'm good. Or one, what, what? Hey, I got, I could still steal that base, or I, you know, hey, I could tackle that some bitch. You know, <laughs> hey, you know, you know I, I, I mean, how many people do you run into that still have that one hit? And I think we're blessed because, like, hey, we dude, when I was done, I mean, I, was I, sh- I was done, dude. Okay. Hey, I don't want to run any more laps. You know, yeah. you're not gonna see me on that bench press. Hell of that. I'll never do that again in my yeah. life. Yeah, I think you're right. And and and, and I, I feel glad that I was like that. But I did. I got to the point where I mean, it wasn't. I wasn't burn out. I wasn't crying. I wasn't yeah. doing anything. It was just like you know what, man. I, I don't think I got this anymore. Yeah. You know. I mean, now I'm, I'm gonna try to coach. I want to do that. I think that'd be cool. But I got these legs ain't gonna work anymore. This yeah. is it. I think yeah. that helped me a little bit too. You know, uh, you talk about parents kind of living through their kids and all oh, that. Yeah. And yeah. Jenna played some sports, and uh, mm-hmm. you know, I hope she would agree with this comment. But I, I never tried to live through her. Mm-hmm. You know, I was always no. like, hey, I did my thing. Well, I'm good. Yeah, I right. did. I did my right. deal, and I did what I wanted to do, and accomplished whatever I wanted to accomplish. And yeah. so, I'm not trying to. Me either. I'm my, not trying my, to get my any whole trophies thing, through you. Both of my kids. I just want to be passionate about something. I don't. I really don't care what it is. Might be karate. Well, but all of us are the same boat. You're going to do it. You're going to do it. Gibson comes to me with a guitar in his hand. I'm going to say, okay, now if you're going to do this, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm yep. going. I'm going to weigh in. A little yeah. Bit. Oh yeah. You know, yeah, you're yeah. going to do that with Abram and football. And I have. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I have because I mean, hey, look, if we're going to do it. Yeah. There are things about it, like, you know, you know, like, I, I mean, I can't just say, hey, dude, I want to play the guitar. I went out and bought my guitar. I want to play the guitar. Or you want to be great at it. Or, I mean, or there, hey, that's going to take a certain level of commitment, mm-hmm. you know, and I feel the same way about if they decide they want to play football mm-hmm. or basketball or anything. It's like, well, okay, now do you want to play or do you just do want you to sit on the bench? Or, I, mean, or you what, want, yeah. I mean, if you're going to do it. Let's work at it. Let's, let's do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like as a dad, you're, you got to be there for that. A little bit, yeah. Like a little bit of motivation here and there, but not, uh, but not. I mean, I I do not have one hit left in me. No, but, I'm good. I, and I'm, I didn't get that from my mom and dad. I, I can't. I, I think if I think about where that came from for me, is it? I think it came from my peers. Mm-hmm. And you know, and there's want, something about being you know, on a team and wanting you know? to, want yeah. to be as good as whoever fill in the blank. You know? I know there's something about that backyard ball that you yeah. guys yeah. all yeah. grew yeah. up yeah. doing. Yeah. That, you know, kind of teaches well, you. Uh, and I'll tell you what, man. For me, I, the big thing I was, I didn't want to let anybody down. Yeah. Not my parents. I mean, I, they didn't. They didn't put pressure on. Me. Well, you know, whenever you're but in like, the backyard, like, yeah. and you and you know, you've got your team and it's yeah, your buddies. Buddy. Yeah. And I know that it's just your backyard. Oh. but it's it's we're going to win or we're going to lose. Hey, we're there with the Walburn boys. I guarantee yeah. it's going to end in an argument between the two of them or something. <laughs> you know, about a rule. You remember? Yeah, you remember oh, when we every would go time. down? You remember when we go down to Eddie Jones and we played? You had to pull it. You had to hit between yeah. second and third, <laughs> and it'd get along real well. And then all of a sudden, yeah. 
somebody, yeah. somebody, you know. And it normally is Matt and Stevie, uh, <laughs> you know, you know. And uh, and I, I mean, I'd if say you right was, to their face. If, I mean, if, I, they they if, can't deny it. No, you, they wouldn't. They no, wouldn't no, deny no, it. No, if no. You, you're absolutely right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you would have turned me down tonight, my next call was to Matt Walbert. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. 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 So, have you had fun tonight? Had a great time. We got to wrap it up. Yeah, yeah we got a live coming up. Yep. But yep. Uh, thank you, sir. I thank appreciate you. it. Thank I just you so much. Really away. enjoyed it. Appreciate thank you, you yeah. coming on. You're gonna yeah. come on again. Yeah, just let me know. No, I love it. Right. Yeah, right. yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll do that, this again. We'll keep that 1990 class uh, yeah, numbers man, going up. You know? number. Yeah, you know I had Stay in the lead. That. that is, they absolutely. I mean, we're gonna put a sign down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I my 99 bunch is all none of them's here. I can't yeah. even, I can't yeah. get out oh, of yeah. here. You just got a sad I'm story. So, yeah. Jeez, sad story. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, God, so, hey, smash that like button. We yeah. noticed tonight that only, uh, but what was what? it, Chad? 78% of our subscribers. Uh, yeah. Or no, 78% no, of the people that watch our show do not do, subscribe. Subscribe, yes. So subscribe, subscribe God to damn it. show. <laughs> well, let's go. Come on. And it'll just send you a link whenever we got yeah. new ones. It's Help easy. us out. It, you don't have to give them your credit info. Or no, nothing. we don't care what it's your credit YouTube is. YouTube, for Christ's sake. We take everybody. <laughs> yeah. Hit See. the goddamn button. <laughs> yeah. See ya. Yeah.